Today we've got the SkyTrack Plus launch monitor. We're going to show you guys everything about it, tell you how it works, and we have Brian here with us, a SkyTrack customer, to tell you guys everything you need to know. Make sure golfers are subscribed to the YouTube channel, you like this video, and then you tell us in the comments uh, how you're using your SkyTrack Plus at home. Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Brian Francis uh, with a new video on the SkyTrack Plus launch monitor. Uh, we have Brian here because, well, for a couple reasons. Brian knows what he's talking about. He's a, a member of the Second Swing IT team, uh, director of IT, actually. So you know what you're talking about with this technology and these gadgets and stuff. But also, very loyal SkyTrack customer. So um, this is fun because you had the previous model, the SkyTrack launch monitor, and you've only said great things about it. So I know you were very excited about the SkyTrack Plus here coming up. And now that it's here, uh, you get to do some testing with us. Yeah, I mean, basically I've had it for about four years. Um, every winter, I'd say I'm hitting about 100, 150 balls a week. Yeah. Um, really enjoy uh, SkyTrack. Uh, it's definitely improved my game. Yeah, and I, I know that's, especially for you, I know you're a very serious player, very good player, lots of club championships for this <laughs> guy. Uh, so you're taking it in a way, like you're trying to improve your game throughout the winter here in Minnesota where can't really golf outside. Yep. So I know there's a lot of people watching the channel that are probably in that similar boat where throughout the year there's months um, that you can't play golf outside, need a way to practice at home, and that's exactly what SkyTrack allows you to do. So um, I guess with the new model here, lots of some new features, some new technology. You talk about the dual Doppler um, and then also the new kind of camera system to capture data as well. So what are you guys, I guess, most excited for with this new model knowing the features? I'm really excited for all the extra data points, uh, including the, the club data. Um, mm -hmm. I also know that they, they made a lot of improvements around uh, the speed and how, how uh, quickly it gets to the screen. Uh, and then also, I'd, I'd really like to use it out on the range too, being able to uh, keep it portable and move it out to the range and get, get some numbers uh, off the range too. Right, because I know in the, in the past my you've said has, does not have the club data that, you know, in terms of you know, the face to path, you know, uh, face angle, that type of thing. So that maybe is the next step as maybe a teaching tool for yourself too, that you can kind of see where your swing is at in the winter and make sure those numbers are where you want them to be too. Yeah, absolutely. And then also going on the course. Uh, I know in the summer you're probably a range rat. So being able to bring it out to the course, I think they say you can bring it out there as kind of, uh, as long as you have a mat to hit off of, yeah. it's going to be most accurate. But um, really cool stuff to see. And, and then again, we have to talk about price point being at a very good number compared to a lot out there on the market, given the technology that it does have. Yeah, um, the, you know, the, the first one was right around that 2000 range. This one is, is a little bit more, but uh, we're also getting a whole bunch more features. So, right, right. Um, really, really excited to see if, if that price point is, is worth it to me. And, um, you know, from my point of view, whether it's the first SkyTrack or second SkyTrack, they're both awesome. Yeah, so. right. Well, today we are in the Minnetonka store. Um, we've got the bay here set up with the SkyTrack Plus. We've got it all set up and ready to go here. I think we can maybe do some testing now. Have you hit a few clubs and see how it works? That sounds fun. All right, so Brian, we'll start here. You got nine iron. Yep, um, nine, so. iron. nine iron uh, usually goes about 145. Okay. Um, I would expect right around 8,000 RPMs. Okay. Um, and so one thing that I think now is a cool feature for maybe the players that aren't as in tune with club fitting as I know you are, is these optimal range numbers up there. So um, we'll see as it comes up, but when you hit the ball, obviously it'll, it'll show kind of where that range should be given all the other numbers up there. So um, yeah. it's rock and roll. Hit it away. pretty tasty ball flight right there. I'll take that all day. So you said you said 145. It carried 145. You got a lot of green on the screen. Yeah, I like 8,000 RPMs. I mean, it is kind of cool how it does show the green, yeah. which looks like I'm in the optimal range for a nine iron. Mm -hmm. um, looking at my club path data, um, that looks pretty spot on accurate there. Right. So. That's, and that's also, I mean, that's just a very good golf shot. Yeah, I hit, I hit that one well. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it again? Or another time after that? Yeah, we'll see.
All right, how'd that one feel? That one felt real good. Yeah? Well, <laughs> it's a very similar shot. Yep, a little higher spin. Yeah. But all within the range. I like that. I just like when things work out, you know, because you said you hit the 9 iron 145, and if you, if you go a little long, I assume it's probably because there's a slight maybe draw to it or a slight pull. Yep. And that's what we have here is a slight draw. So now, is there anything so that you're, you know, like looking for in particular for your game with these numbers? Or I guess, is there like one data point that you're really working on to hone in? Or I guess you as a golfer, like any of these numbers, like what for you is the most helpful? For me, it's it's the spin rate. Uh, yeah. I do have a, a faster swing speed. Uh, mm -hmm. I also have a, a higher spin rate. So yeah. my goal is usually just about every club to reduce my spin. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So and I mean, it's also nice to know that this first two shots, anyway, you're in that, you're in the you're in the right range. In the range. So let's let's go one more here with the nine iron. All right. We'll go maybe three with the nine iron, and then we'll move on to another club. Ooh, a little bit different shot here. Went a little longer. A little bit longer. You smoked it though. A little more open face, yeah. which shows a little bit of the, the push, although I'll take that every day. Yeah. Uh, club path is still in to out. Pretty good stuff. All right, so here's our three swings. That's cool now. So this is the table of information, and it's kind of cool because it's got your ball and flight and club information kind of all divided out there too, so you kind of know where to look. But um, pretty consistent, you know. You're hitting your 9 iron 147 carry, and you said 145, so we're pretty darn close on that. Yeah. I like when we get three swings that are very repeatable. So when you look at this data with SkyTrack, is are you kind of looking again at spin here too, um, or is there anything with all this data in front of you that you're looking at as a golfer? Um, like for me, it's, it's, it's probably still backspin, um, and carry carry yeah. is, carry is the most important. Um, you know, with my nine iron, 145 is kind of what I would expect outside. Uh, right. this is very, very close. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. That's very good. 145, 146 are the first two shots. Um, yeah, cool. And then I think the other part too, is if we can, you know, we can we saw how the ball flight on those shots too. I, I like the feed on the the I guess it's not really a camera angle, right? But the angle that it shows you of the ball flight when you're watching it, you get to see the whole thing almost as if you would on the course. Yeah. You're seeing it from the perspective of the of the golf shot. So very cool. Well, let's uh let's hit uh let's try six iron. I think that was the club you had mentioned next yeah. that you wanted to move to. So let's try that. And so now six iron numbers wise. What uh, are you typically expecting out of a six iron? Yep, six iron is usually right around that uh, 180, 185. Okay. Um, spin rate, uh, usually a little on the higher side, so it's probably going to be right around 7,000. Okay. Maybe 6,500. Okay. Definitely a lower ball flight. Yep, that looks about Which... right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. You said yep. 6,500 on the spin, didn't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so that's about, about where I would expect it. I think you almost hit the absolute, you hit money on this because your descent ankle is right in the middle. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. darn good. It's pretty darn good. Yep. Club face is about what I would expect too. A uh, little open, but uh, yeah. inside to out path. Do you typically play a draw with your irons? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yep. Usually it's just a little five yard draw. Um, mm -hmm. I I can play it both ways. Yeah. Um, you know we could test a, a you fade want, if, if hey, we if you want to hit to. a fade. That's fine by me. Yeah. You can give that a shot. If you got the game for it, I'm, let's do it. Oh yeah. Pretty good, because you also should expect it to go a little shorter. Look at that. Yep. It does seem a little exaggerated, but all the spin numbers are in the right spot. Right. Because um, you're, yeah, your, I guess, face angle, yeah, I mean, that's is open 4.4, or the face to path is open 4.4, which creates that sort of 
that fade. Yep. Um, yeah, I, that's, that's exactly I like, what you want. I like seeing the green. Uh, everything's right in the in the right slot. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like, does it? <laughs> we we need to see what colors show up when it's not uh, in the windows. You know, <laughs> I, I can try and hit one fat. See what happens. <laughs> we could just to see what people see what it looks like to people if you hit the the wrong numbers. All right. Still looking like a good golf shot. All right. Okay, we got a red number. Okay, yep. so it's so if you're outside the window, it looks like you're outside by a couple degrees there yet, but it does show it tells you that you're not in the right window essentially. Right. So that's a cool feature though. Yeah, instant feedback. Um, because I also all, all like three. because I like too that those three numbers are sort of they can kind of be, they're, they're generated by the other ones, by the swing numbers, right? The club speed, the ball speed, um, the face angle and all that stuff generates those numbers. So it kind of, those, are, those numbers are sort of based on where you hit the ball on the face. The, the big one that I really like seeing is the, the descent angle. Uh, yeah. The original Skytrack didn't have the descent angle. Oh, really? And that, that'll be great to know as the ball is, yeah. is coming down, you know, what's the stopping power and... Um, mm -hmm. Right, because, I mean, especially around here in Minnesota, and this, you know, depends on the weather, obviously. But yeah. a lot of times, you know, playing down here versus playing, let's say, in the dry summer heat in Texas or something, it's a little different. And right. so playing down in Texas, you might want a lower descent angle to get that ball to chase more or maybe off the tee. Yeah. But here you're, I know you said it, but you're way more focused on your carry number because that's more than likely going to be closer than, say, what this number gives you for a total. Yeah, and because I am a, a higher spin player, that carry number, usually I don't get a whole lot of rollout, yeah. especially with my irons. So I want to make sure that I'm getting it to the green, landing sure. it on the green. Okay, well, let's try, let's, should we try the big stick here? Sure. We'll, we'll have to move the Skytrack Plus around a little bit here because we, uh, obviously the laser needs to be pointed directly at it. So is the laser supposed to be pointed directly on the ball? Uh, it doesn't have to be. Okay. Um, I think that's one of the improvements that they did make. Yeah. Is there's a, a bigger like area that doesn't have to be on the the laser. It picks up a wider space essentially. Yeah, and like at home with the original Skytrack, like on my wedges, I would usually move it ahead of the laser. Mm. Where with my driver, I would put it a little behind, or especially oh. my five would okay. move it a little behind because it'll give it give the ball time to sure okay move up. Interesting. Yep. Well, this is uh we didn't we didn't we didn't give you a chance to warm up with driver here, so this is <laughs> kind of the the first driver swing of the day. Yeah. That one's off to the right. Yep. You knew it right away. Yep. Just a little bit of a miss hit. Oh, it's still got some numbers out of it, though. Okay. So is that what you would have expected, sort of, based on that swing? Uh, based on that swing, yes. Uh, with my driver, spin numbers are usually in that 25 to all the way up to 35. Okay. Because um, you did say you're a high spin player, so typically. So you'll probably see some yellow or even red a little bit with, with yes. the, sp the spin number usually. Okay. Yeah, my goal with my driver is always to to get that uh, spin number down. Okay. Um, and obviously when I, when I had a little bit of a, a slice there. Yeah. Well, um, and it's, we it's need to, be I need to spin. clarify that was your very first driver swing of the day. Yeah. That's for you to even step up and do that with in front of a camera is pretty <laughs> impressive. It has still hit the ball 291 yards or whatever that was. So yeah, we can do better. Yeah, I know. I know you can. <laughs> Yeah, that one was low. Low chasing draw. Yeah, that was. See, a that's smaller. one. That's one too. That you probably get that on some dry turf, and that's a very effective shot. Yeah, if I was trying to do it on purpose. But. Yeah. Well, is that? But that is kind of what you felt with that swing. You said you were going to try to yeah, do a little draw there. Trying to you. draw it, uh, obviously. Uh, overcooked it a little bit. Yeah. That was much better. Oh yeah, that side. I know that right there is probably your 
sort of stock driver swing right there. Yep. That's that's the shot that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. I am surprised that the, the backspin is, is as low as it is. Mm -hmm. um, One thing I do like to see, I, I like the way that the, the layout of the screen is in general, because I think it's, I know on, on maybe other launch monitors, you have to click a couple times to see an image like this, where you're, the, the, how the club made impact and where it was facing and the path and everything. To see that right there, it's all laid out very cleanly, I think, on the screen. Uh, I just I didn't I just wanted to point that out because I know that's a new feature with this one is that club data referring to the swing. So yeah, the user interface is is really nice, really mm -hmm. clean. I like how fast it is. Um, right. You know, with the old SkyTrack, there's a two, three, four second delay. This one's pretty much instant. Very nice. Do we want to you want to try one more driver here? Let's hit yeah. a let's hit a bomb. Ooh. Can I get there? Oh, Ooh, so come on. <laughs> See, now that one ball speed was 167, yeah. where the previous one was 169. OK. That was a little bit more Spin. height on that one registered, so. Yep, I tried coming up a little bit more. Um, yeah. Backspin still seemed pretty low. It's a good, I mean, it is a good golf swing. Take yeah. that fade. Yep. I'll I know you play that fade with the driver, so yep. it's uh, what you're used to doing. I like, see, look at that a lot more square. At least the face angle is a lot more square, I think, on this one. So, um, But I think, so, and we'll kind of summarize here shortly, but based on the testing piece here, um, we're seeing very reliable in the sense of, obviously, we talked about price already, but very reliable and very overwhelming majority of your shots are going to give you very accurate data here. Um, and, you, you know, we talked about a little bit about the setup, but the setup's very simple. And all you have to do really is you get it set up and make sure that the laser's pointed at where you're hitting. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I like the new layout. I like the speed. Um, I, the club data seems fairly accurate. Um, yeah, it, it looks really good. All right, Brian, testing complete there, uh, at least indoor testing. Uh, I'm not able to go outside today, but uh, that's kind of the, another cool feature of that, obviously. We mentioned it briefly, but um, you can just bring it out to the range. The laser still shows up. You just point the laser at the ball on your mat outside, and you hit it. So, um, I mean, this is a really good device. Obviously, you know this. You know the brand SkyTrack, what they all are able to do. But um, in talking with, you know, talking about golfers out there that, might be thinking about making that that purchase for uh, an at-home sort of device to um, learn about their game. But what type of player out there would this be best for? Or maybe that's, I mean, it could be just any golfer. Yeah, I mean, any golfer is gonna, gonna learn from, from the SkyTrack. Mm -hmm. um, this unit, it, it can be in a really uh, small space. Mm -hmm. um, the numbers are, are really accurate. Uh, yeah, it, basically, it, it's for anyone that uh, you know wants to to get better and and wants to see their own numbers. Mm -hmm. And then, especially too, you know, the the player that is going to be at home playing a lot. Yeah. Um, and especially, I you know, I mean, here it was basically till May this year we couldn't play any golf here in Minnesota, and so the the player like you that probably spent January, February, March, April a lot of free time swinging, you know, in the garage or wherever your setup might be, uh, having a device to be able to do that like this. Is a big win, so um, I think uh, that's kind of the that's kind of the answer. The golfer that wants to get something set up at home for, uh, given what everything you're going to be provided with this device, not a lot of money for that. So yeah. um, I think that's the verdict here from Brian, a SkyTrack customer, multiple club champion, pretty darn good golf swing. Uh, so if you want to be like Brian and hit you know win club championships and uh, play really good golf, a SkyTrack Plus might be the right device for you. So. Go to secondswing.com and learn more and shop there. Brian, thank you for taking the time today with us um, and testing it out. Uh, really good feedback. Loved it. Had a great time.